Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how to get themes on your Mac. I did make this video a while back, but um, my voice is all messed up and stuff, so I got, I got it here in the trash. There. No, there. I don't know, but it's somewhere. Um, anyway, I'm going to tell you how to theme your Mac. Here I have white on black, and if I go open up a window, it's like... Um, a dark black leaning into black black so the app you want for to do this is called Mani Magnifique or Magnifica or I don't know how to pronounce it I think it's Magnifique I'm not really sure though it's free um, just google Magnifique or if I'm feeling nice I'll put it in the link description uh, yep so here's the interface you have a bar along the top make theme rename theme Restart Finder, Restart Dock, Showing Finder, Useful Preview, and Theme Mixer. I'll go through all those, what they do in a second. Down here are the available downloads at the moment. So let's pick one. Let's do Titanium. I was going to show you it in action of actually theme net, no preview. Um, it, that's the only bad side. There's um, not many previews on the actual um, themes. And I was going to do a... Um, video showing all the theming actually in process but um, the I show you couldn't really handle the frame rate changes and stuff so it got a bit um, messed up the audio so here we go here's the theme let's click, click view full preview this opens up a web website uh, can't actually notice anything that's different except apart from the dock so let's try and find a different one so let's pick uh, milk I know this one's different I think I think anyway let load the preview and uh, no that's not different either well there is some difference but I can't figure it out so I want a noticeable dis uh, difference I can show you it this one down here is a nice one I think it has um, makes everything small basically so the minimize buttons, maximize buttons, and close buttons are all smaller and less colourful. So that's all right. So here we go. View full preview. Clicked it twice. Here we go. Um, so that is the theme. I will show you it in process, but I'm going to do it quickly. So hopefully the frame rate won't have issues. So then click download. Okay. Then you just click OK. And then it'll come up downloading the theme file. And you're gonna have to type in your password for some reason. Um, I'm gonna pause it and then resume it when the download is done. Alright, guys, the download is nearly done. Just wait a bit longer. Okay, so then it's gonna extract the contents of the file because it's and then it's gonna copy the theme. Copy the theme. And then it has that. It tells you that it's successfully added to over here. So you click OK. And then go into themes. And then we're going to click the theme we just downloaded. And then just click apply now. Um, yep. Tick those two. There's no doc theme for it. So yeah. It also backs up the files you got already. So if you had like a custom made doc it will back that up. So it's all good. Um, so it's just running custom restore script. Interesting stuff, eh? I'll pause it for a bit and then resume when the custom restore script is done. Okay, it now says um, uninstall complete and then it's going on like this. I'm hoping the audio won't go off because it's started the process already, so fingers crossed. Well, you wouldn't know if it's gone wrong because I'd be deleting this video. Right, so running pre install script. Got internet back. Let it run, let it run, let it run. Okay nearing up it's gonna finish gonna finish at some point
Okay, so you just need to type in the password again. So let it do its stuff, you know. Oh, crap. I'm going to stop this video and then... Okay, guys, we're zooming on. Um, that was exactly what I didn't want to happen. In, and as you saw, the audio started to go wonky already. So hopefully the frame rate is fine now. Um, once it's done, you'll see that it still hasn't changed anything. So then you click Restart Finder. And if you theme the dock, then you click Restart Dock as well. So there we go. That's the new theme. But because you have to quit out all your applications as well, because otherwise it still sticks with the old one. And then you go back to Finder, Changes. But on that it doesn't. Oops, I just clicked it again. Um, you then have Make Theme at the top. You have, basically you make it on Photoshop and then you can import it in and then rename it. You have Rename Theme, so you click it, Rename. Um, view full screen, I uh, showed you that earlier. And then you have Theme Mixer, so I can mix the two different themes together. So that's pretty cool. So I could mix like one from that and one from that. Uh, now going on to Preferences. You just have Check for Updates and Startup, Enable Theme Downloads, Enable Web Previews for Downloads. And then you have Delete All Themes, Enable Disable cure, uh, Core UI, Enable Disable Transparent Menu Bar, Switch 2D to 3D Docs, and then you have Open Element Preview Window, so I'm not sure what that does. Aha, it gives you, I still don't know what it does, if you want to make sense of it, then good on you. Um, up File, you have all these down here, just up here, make it a bit simpler if you want. You have um, little shortcuts as well, which is handy. And that is it for Magnifique. I shall quickly show you it, what it looks like. So let's go on to Macintosh hard drive. There we go, there's the little buttons, all mini, which is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, so you click that. Uh, I think iTunes is modded as well, but I can't show you that, because iTunes takes forever to load up on mine. And that is it, guys. That's how you theme your Mac OS X Leopard. Hope this video helped. Comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.